Love is all you need. All you need is love. All you need is love. Friends and neighbours, neighbours and friends, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's Sylvester Dickey welcoming you to the 2021 Moisture Festival Valentine's Day show. It's for all of us who've been cooped up at home and to remember that moisture is alive and well and we love you and I welcome you to enjoy this year. Of course, the Moisture Festival always begins with a song, the traditional moisture song. It's interactive and collaborative. You have one line, many of you know it. It's simply nuns in a cloister. And you will sing that when you hear the boom, boom, nuns in a cloister. And if I ever do this, just sing the last word you heard me sing or whatever you happen to feel like singing at that time. The moisture song. Some people know it as damp. Other people know it when they see it. Some people simply say wet. Other people simply want to be it. Wherever you go, however you name it, it's raining cats and dogs and you really can't blame it. It's plain to see, there's nothing to fear. You're gonna get soggy if you live around here. It's moisture, moisture. It's moisture, moisture. We can't get out, we're stuck in here like Nuns in a cloister, it's a good thing we love the rain, but the best darn thing of all is we got the moisture festival. Sing it! We got the moisture festival. One more time, we got the moisture festival. Nicely done. Again. So it's a day to celebrate love, of course, Valentine's Day, and we begin with a series of lovely recitations from our beautiful Lindsay Benner from Los Angeles doing The Book of Love. Enjoy. I love you Never know how much I care When you put your arms around me I get a fever It's so hard to bear You give me fever When you kiss me Fever when you hold me tight Fever In the morning Fever all through the night Sun lights up the daytime moon lights up the night I light up when you call my name and I know I'm gonna treat you right you give me fever when you kiss me fever when you hold me tight fever in the morning fever all through the night Everybody's got the fever That is something you all know Fever isn't such a new thing Fever started long ago <laughs> Romeo loved his Juliet Juliet, she felt the same when he put his arms around her, he said, Julie, baby, you're my flame, thou givest fever. <laughs> when we kiss it, fever with that flame in youth. Fever, I'm on fire. Fever, yeah, I burn for soon. <laughs> Smith and Pocahontas had a very mad affair when her daddy tried to 
kill him She said, Daddy, oh no, don't you dare He gives me fever With his kisses, fever When he holds me tight Fever I'm his missus Daddy, won't you treat him right Now you've listened to my story Here's the point that I have made Lovers were born to give you fever Be it Fahrenheit or centigrade They give you fever When they kiss you fever If you live and learn Fever Till you sizzle What a lovely way to burn What a lovely way to burn What a lovely way to burn what a lovely way to burn.
What a lovely piece and how nice of her to use a volunteer. It all reminds me of a love quote from the great Mickey Rooney that said, get married in the morning. That way, if it doesn't work out, you won't have wasted the whole day. Now, speaking of our lovely volunteers, normally in February at this time, we would be having a volunteer festival. We love the volunteers. We spoke to them and we asked them, what is it that drew you to the festival? What was the first time you volunteered for the Moisture Festival? I first volunteered for the Moisture Festival the very first year it was held at the Hales Palladium. Uh, a few shifts a week for the duration of the run every year since it's been at Hales. I have worked as a box office lead, um, coordinating the distribution of tickets. I get to be kind of the front face of the festival. I get to work with some fun volunteers and be, you know, have interaction with the, with the guests. And I love that job. And what I really love is when someone who's been coming for years brings a friend who hasn't been before or brings kids who haven't been before. Um, and they get to be that cool friend or that cool dad who is turning somebody on to this amazing festival. And my first year volunteering was in 2007. I had a lot of roles over the years. You know, I started out as a door babe up front, and then I eventually was, was working as like volunteer check-in coordinator um, and, you know, had a lot of fun doing that. I was working as many nights a week as I could. I was usually working five nights a week. For the, some of my favorite volunteer memories are like just those nights that we stayed really late. I remember one year there was some special aerial show that was going to be set right in the center of the house. And the volunteers stayed till like one or two in the morning because we had to redo all the chairs after the 1030 show. So they were all in a like a circle around the center of the Palladium. We were there really late. And we were just all, you know, having fun and loopy after that 1030 show and goofing around, but, but it was all hands on deck and it was a lot of fun. And it was, that, that's one of my favorite things is that community aspect where you're, you know, in the pit with all the other volunteers and it's that, it's that sweat that makes it happen and everybody's having a great time together, even though it's a bunch of work. <laughs> Thank you to our fantastic volunteers. We'll be hearing more from them later in the program. You never know what you're gonna get when you come to the Moisture Festival. It's like that wonderful quote by Linda Berry about love. Love is like an exploding cigar that we willingly smoke. Now, for our next act, he comes to us from far away, from Maine, the other side of the world, practically. He is one of the world's great, great clowns. And he's with us for many years. In fact, he was with us the first time we ever came to the Palladium. Please welcome Avner the Eccentric.
eccentric. Eccentric because he deals in the realm of the absurd, reminding me of a love quote from Maribo, which is, love makes you believe what you would normally regard with the deepest of suspicion. <laughs> we move on to our next act. Comes to us from who knows where, but she is atop a roller bowler with something very difficult to balance, which is a perfect metaphor for what we do with love. Please welcome Kate Bates.
So we first volunteered in 2014 and what brought us to the festival was wanting to get more involved in the arts community. And I've always wanted to join the circus. <laughs> closest thing I'll ever get. <laughs> I actually volunteered as a door babe and um, as an uh, artist liaison and uh, both of us were also hammerheads. Yeah, I did security and uh, yeah, hammerheads were was a lot of fun, a lot, good group of people and stuff. Got to work on the sets and uh, lots of fun projects and stuff. So, yeah. And security was always fun, getting to see all the the people from a distance, having fun and enjoying themselves and being able to watch the performances. Yeah. Behind the scenes is always the best. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to begin this with an icon both of moisture festival history and of world variety and comedy performance. He is a national treasure in his native Germany and he's been here for many, many years. Please welcome Hockey Ginda! Ladies and gentlemen, Rick. Rich.
Hockey Ginda, the only thing you don't know about hockey is that he holds the world record for the most times unintentionally hitting himself in the face hmm. in a row. All of these acts in this Valentine's Day show fill me with such hope for humanity, that combination of people and their, and their willingness to collaborate. It's about love on some level. As Paul Valery said, love is being stupid together. We love our volunteers so much. We, we spoke to them and we asked them, why did you come see us? What jobs did you do? What drew you to the festival? And we got the most amazing answers. My first volunteer shift, I watched the door. I was an official door babe. And uh, also during the show, they needed some help. So I got to watch the door. And then after the show started, I got to help hold up Reverend Chumley by his ankles as he escaped out of a straitjacket while his head was in a bucket of water. They say that what happens backstage stays backstage, but there's a couple things I can talk about. There's a tradition in the theater that if a performer does a show on their birthday, they get a pie in their face. Now, Tom Naughty, the excellent bubble man, was performing his act on the night of his birthday. He was peeking behind every curtain. He was walking on glass the entire time. You could see him physically just worry that they might have a pie. So finally, he got the pie in the face while he was on stage, which I must say is the best time to put a pie in somebody's <laughs> face. Be the volunteer coordinator at the Broadway Performance Hall. Something happened with the computer system, either the internet was down or the server was down, and um, we had no way to verify tickets, um, all the ticket sales, so we didn't know how to verify any of the guests when they showed up that they actually had tickets. So some people made some phone calls and it was like the magic box um, or the magic room who was in that room i don't know and who was on the other end of that phone line but they called somebody off site and next thing you know a printed list of all the ticket sales for that for those two shows that day um, showed up and then we were able to process everybody through and it was it worked out fabulous and it was it was funny because it was it was um, in a sense like you know, people could have got upset and they didn't because they were, I think Moisture Festival brings out the best in people, you know, they're there to have a good time. And it was, it was actually really fun. You just, it's always just so fun to go to the show um, and see live talent and um, it, the environment and the vibe is so fun and different in, than most places in Seattle. And so I really enjoy that. And in the comedy, that's probably one of my favorites and the acrobats. Um, and the MCs, I've always enjoyed the MCs. They bring such life to the show. The intimacy of the venue at Hales and also at the Broadway Performance Hall, super, super fun. And it, you just feel so much closer to the show. And, and I think it's, it is such a great thing that it is for the whole family. I love that. With Food Babe, I can talk through the whole show <laughs> and laugh and joke and sing and dance and drink and be silly. That is you know about the festival that's so much fun is is the people you get to meet it's 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 like a dream come true <laughs> you know <laughs> and it's exhausting and it's exhilarating and i work hard for four weeks and then i spend days just resting about love one could certainly say something as prosaic as Love is the condition in which the happiness of another person is essential to your own. That's the nature of the beauty of Valentine's Day. We give you, in an example of beauty, Rachel Karabenik. <sighs> Thank you.
special care of Annette, ladies and gentlemen. Moved to tears, I would say. You know, every year, for those of you who come and for those of you who don't come, we appreciate the incredible beauty that things like aerial acts and other physical wonders bring to our hearts and our souls. And right now, at a time when we are so isolated and squished, we all need such an expression of beauty. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you, to the volunteers, to all of the performers. Our next act, ladies and gentlemen, is all about the way that love twists us into knots. Jordan McKnight.
Jordan McKnight! Oh my. That hurt me a little bit just to watch it. But that's the thing about the Moisture Festival. It's provocative, isn't it? You know, one of the things about the festival is that it invites everyone to join us as audience member, from the very youngest to, to the very oldest, from the, from the least nimble of body or mind to the, to the most. Uh, in, in any case, our next performer is Michael Paul, and he is joined by the world's oldest living gymnast, Nadia Koma. It's incredible. Um, this next act is from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, yeah. Yeah. and uh, she is a multi-medal winner, gold medal winner. Will you please welcome to the stage the world's oldest gymnast, Miss right. Nadia Koma. There you go. Come nice on, to meet you there, Nadia. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Yeah, fine, fine. You having a good time? Yeah, it's all very nice. Yeah, A lot of little kids. Yeah, yeah. Listen, Nadia, I got to say, I'm, I, we are excited to have you. I'm excited to meet you. Uh, I, am, I am not a journalist. I have a few questions, if you don't mind. Yeah. You are the oldest gymnast, Nadia. Uh, how, how old are you? 91. 91. You are still competing, are you not? Yeah. And uh, I was thinking, since we're all here uh, over the weekend, it's the holiday, uh, it's St. Patrick's Day, yeah, and we're eating quite a bit. Maybe you could give us a few uh, little helpful tips as far as what we could do to stay uh, more physically fit. Certainly. Uh, <clears throat> boys and girls, or men, women, uh, their metabolism is very different. I would think so. So. Why don't I start with the fellas? That would be fine. Okay. And I'll give you a little tip, and you can do this exercise as you're walking down the street. That would be fine. Okay. You can pay attention there if you like. Excuse me? You got a little deli there. What? You got a little deli. I mean, uh, you got a little deli? I, I guess I you got a little deli there. Well, it's like a little baby. Excuse me? Yeah, a little baby there. Oh, good you, good you go. I am, I've been flying a lot. I just am suffering from a little water retention. What are you retaining, the Atlantic? Are you going to tell us what to do or not? Okay. Fellas, you can do this exercise as you're walking down the halls. Go ahead. It goes like this. <coughs> That's it? Yeah. What does that do? It detracts attention away from your gut. All right. <laughs> go, 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 go. Stop that. Uh, what, do you, what do you do for exercise? Me? Yeah. The most kids. Who exercises here? Who exercises? Yeah, yeah. What do you do to exercise? What do you do? Huh? Push-ups? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Well, what do you do? Well, the most important. <clears throat> you know what? I'll tell you. I do. I. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got something caught my throat. You're right. Yeah, I got something caught my throat. <coughs> <laughs> oh, like you don't do it. All right. Well, it happens. Sure. Well, excuse me. It's all right. Continue there. Uh, okay. So uh, you, you exercise. Yeah. I, I, could you show everyone what you do? Like so, something that's made you really famous? Certainly. You, or you, a little uh, athletic prowess? Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Okay. You want to see me do one of my favorite things? You got to stretch a little bit uh, first before you exercise, right? Okay. <clears throat> You're going to stretch? Yeah. It goes like this. <clears throat> You all right? Yeah. All right, now what? You done? I've got to stretch my spine. All right. How long do you stretch for? <laughs> hey. Thank you. You didn't do it yet. Yeah. What are you, you going to do? Are you going to do uh, j j sit ups? Are you going to do push ups? Yeah, I'm going to sing. You're going to sing? Yeah. I thought you were doing exercise. No, it's a moisture fest. You're going to sing? Yeah, pass me that uh, microphone there. The microphone? Yeah. What, 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 what are you going to sing tonight? I thought it was... <sighs> Hello? It's on. Hello? It is on. Do not do that. People can hear you. It's expensive. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
All right, ready? Yeah, all right. Gregory, this is dedicated to you. <clears throat> Hope you like it. It had to be you. Don't call the ears. <laughs> it had to be Nadia. Sit down, girl! Had to, had to be you. Be, that's right! <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have to go to therapy after that. All right, come on. For no Donnie else gives me a thrill, 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 thrill. I love you still, 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 still. Hello, hello. In hand to me. <laughs> you, Nadia Coma, everybody. Thank you. I'm Michael Paul. More show coming up. Nadia Coma is incredible. Sometimes it's hard to believe. Like love, love is sometimes hard to believe. Groucho Marx said, instead of getting married, I'm going to find a woman I don't like and give her a house. You know, for our final act, ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to have some very dear friends of mine, two who represent, at least in French, coming together, that is love, but they also represent throwing each other up into the air, which is also love. Please welcome the delightful, the talented duo Rendezvous.
And we want to offer a special, most deeply heartfelt thank you, gratitude to our incredible volunteers. You are the lifeblood of this festival and you've been with us for years and you're such a bunch of weirdos. All you need is love. All you need is love. All you need is love. Love. Love is all you need. 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 I don't know about you, but I am moved here, here, here by being together for the Moisture Festival. We will be together this year virtually with four shows beginning on April Fools. Join us and if you can and if you have capacity. Donate to the festival, help make it happen. There's nothing more meaningful in this time than finding love, joy, frivolity, and happiness together. May this year, sprung by this event, bring you happiness and joy in ways you couldn't possibly imagine. Good night, everyone. Have a fantastic year, in spite of it all. Sylvester Dickey, signing off. <laughs>